Hello guys, welcome back once again. I am S. Morant, and this is more 49ers news. Um, and this one's really good. This one's all about a, uh, one of my favourite players. Um, I don't know if I've said that before, but he's one of my favourite players, George Kittle. He's he's been on podcast. I love listening to him on podcasts and interviews. He, he, he's he's in that case, but he's great when he actually settles down and you know he just talks about the players a lot. And he's probably one of the humblest people to a, a, an interview, a podcast, a video, whatever, just of him. And this um, this guy's been talking about just one person alone. According to him, he's a freak athlete. Yep, 49erswebzone.com articles. David David uh, Bologna. George Kittle impressed with Trey Lance calls the 49ers rookie a freak athlete. Now, I like always listening to what George Kittle says. So... Let's get into this one. Uh, the 49 tight end George Kittle joined Michael Silver and his daughter Natalie on the uh, latest Pass It Down podcast. Of course, the topic of quarterbacks come up. The Niners have Jimmy G who helped guide the team to a Super Bowl just over 16 months ago. But the team also planned for the future, trading up to select Trey Lance out of North Dakota, st a state with number three overall pick. While Kittle remains loyal to his starting quarterback of the past three and a half seasons, the all uh, pro tight end is impressed with the, with his new rookie quarterback. He's a freak athlete. Uh, it's kind of fun to watch watch that. He uh, it's kind of fun to watch it, but he is Kittle Tulliver Silvers. He's got a, a cannon for an arm too. That's fun to watch. Uh, it's a different style of quarterback play for sure. But at the same time, Kyle Shanahan has a very brilliant playbook, and he's human. He's the third overall pick, but he is human. Uh, but he has the opportunity to be pretty good, though. I like him. So that's good. Uh, there was some concern from the media surrounding how the addition to, to succeed uh, to the main man, uh, Jimmy G, might impact the locker room dramatic. Kilt wants to put those concerns to rest. So he said, one guy as a rookie doesn't really change the dramatic of the locker room. Kilt explained. It's more about the vets and the culture that we've have, uh, established there. We're a family. Uh, whoever we bring in, like I said, we trust Carl and John uh, with the guys that bring in because they, they think they have a very strong foundation of guys and will build it on the right way. We just kind of welcome everyone that we'll br uh, bring in with open arms because they're going to be part of the 49ers family. The more guys you bring in, the better the competition is and then the better you get every single day. While the lo locker room dramatic uh, might not have been uh, impacted by Lance's arrival. What about the quarterback room? Jimmy G isn't isn't just preparing for the upcoming season, but he's also serving as a mentor for Lance. Um, Jimmy G has embraced that role. Lance is eager to learn from the veteran. While Shanahan told reporters that Jimmy G was disappointed and a bit angry that he, the 49ers felt it was necessary to draft a quarterback of the future. The veteran isn't uh, dwelling on it. He's treating this offseason like any other. Jimmy G was the first 49ers player to reach out to Lance after the young quarterback heard his name called on a draft night. Uh, he's Jimmy G, Kittle said. I haven't noticed a difference at all. Uh, that's what's been so fun about it, honestly. It's just been how we, we just had OTAs. We've been practicing. We've been hanging out. I catch the balls wherever I can from the quarterback whenever he throws it at me. It's fun to have uh, It's fun to have a good room of four guys, actually, with Nate uh, Studfield in there and Josh Rosen. It's just kind of fun out there. It's a fun, unique group. I think they're all very different personalities, but like I said, Jimmy's been doing great. He's just goes out there and uh, practices and throws the ball, and I think you should throw it to me a little bit more. But it is what it is. You can that's it, yeah. And then you can listen to the whole podcast, which is there. But yeah, so he wants to put all the rumors aside. But there was videos and articles about Jimmy G and John Lynch said, look, listen, he always John Lynch says he always told Jimmy up front we're drafting. It is what it is, and it's not. And it's not what Kittle says. And like, like I said, this is why I love what Kittle does: articles and interviews and podcasts. This guy, you know, he's putting his head down. He's practicing hard, so we could see a better Jimmy G that we did twenty twenty, maybe even more better in twenty nineteen. But that we don't know. That's a fifty fifty there. But the way that it, like it sounds, and the way the articles come out, and the newspapers and websites and Twitter. Um, and even Jimmy G said on the interview about a week or two back, you know, 
they've, they've all been up front. It's not personal. They've all been up front. They treat everyone the same. It's a family there, mates, the lot. And they kick ass for that franchise, for that club, for the 49ers. Um, so hopefully we could have a good, good side there. And it's good that it's Jimmy G and Trey Lance is getting on. According to Kittle, it's good. Um, and it's good to hear that Kittle says Trey Lance is a very good bloke. Different sort of play. Very good arm. And this is what you need. I think this is what's good with the 49ers is that they've come out of their shell and gone, we don't need another Jimmy G. This is why I think that everyone thought they were going to get um, uh, Matt Jones or Justin Fields because they're so, sort of similar, according to some web, websites and articles and the odd rumour out there. But uh, they were dirt dwelling more that was going to be Matt Jones that was going to do it. But no, uh, they went all out and different, come out of their shell and got Trey Lance, and I can't wait to see him play. Um, yeah, leave leave a comment down below, guys. Tell me what you think about the article. Thank you very much for the 37 subscribers. I'm really fortunate and appreciated. Humble that you guys subscribed. And um, yeah, guys, if you're new, subscribe. So we've done a lot more 49ers news, live streaming on games, reviews, reactions, and all sorts. Um, but yeah. Thanks for guys for watching and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.